Good morning, friends and families of the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum. I'm here in the nature play with my good friends, the museum chickens. They're enjoying a wonderful frozen watermelon treat that helps keep them from getting too thirsty on days like today. They like popsicles just like you do. But there's another friend here on the museum grounds that we need to take care of too and make sure that they have plenty of water to drink. Let's get the buzz on bees today and make a bee bath for the bees to get water on hot summer days. What do bees and butterflies have in common? Well, they both love the nectar and the pollen of flowering plants. And in turn, they take the pollen, the yellow dust that you see very often inside of a flower, and move it to the next one. When they do that, they help create seeds and new plants. That's why they're so important. So for today's bee and butterfly bath project, let's look around the house for materials to use. Most important is to find a tray of some sort that's very shallow so that insects that land on it don't drown in the water as they're trying to drink. The other thing you can do is to find a recycled can to use as a pedestal. Then what you'll need to do is to glue with some silicone if it goes outside for very long right on top of your can, just like that. Now, for one project, I used a can and then I used acrylic paints to make a flower design all along my tray. But you know what? The bees and the butterflies really don't care. If you make it pretty, you're making it pretty for you. And that's just fine. Find some gravel that will give a place for the insects to perch while they're drinking their water and put it in your tray or pan. I painted a rock with some acrylic paints and some tall things. These are the favorite colors of bees, by the way, and I'm going to put it right inside my pan. I've also got some beads. I can put it inside my bee bath, just like that. That also gives a place for landing insects to perch. As they're drinking near water, they're going to be so happy. On warm days like today, a bee can drink up to a pint of water. Next, you're going to pour in some water. You don't want it to be too deep, just deep enough so that it meets over the top of the rocks. Remember, you need a place for them to perch. Something else you can do is give them a little sweetness. Insects never mind that. Maybe put that on top of your island, just like that for them. Well, this is a wonderful way of taking care of the pollinators who take care of our food supply. Thanks for joining me here today in the museum gardens. We learned a lot about bees and we made them a little bee bath so that they would stay 
nice and healthy on these hot summer days when they get so thirsty. Join me for more online activities every day here at the museum at online.sdcdm.org. See you next time. If you make a bee bath, make sure you take a picture of it and post it to our Facebook page. Tag me, Ms. Teal. I'd love to see them. I hope you had fun during today's activity. I know I've been having so much fun learning new things and finding ways to share them with you, even from a distance. Here at the museum, our goal is to continue offering these free educational resources, but we need your help to do so. Please tune in to our virtual gala on September the 17th from 5.45 to 7 p.m. to support the museum during these unprecedented times. We'll even have a fun performance by Hullabaloo. You can find more information at sdcdm.org slash virtual gala. And I thank you.